What's the record for most home runs in a season by a team? Look into that, will you please, mate? Um, thank you, everybody. Thank you and welcome to a brand new season here at the Colorado Rockies. Uh, it is, of course, my seventh and final season here at the club. And, uh, well, I'm really hopeful that uh, it's going to come down to being seventh times a charm uh, to bringing this club finally that World Series. Now, do we have any questions? Um, yeah. Randy Rivers, local sportscaster. Now listen, man, it's plain for everyone to see the Rockies pitching. It is young and it is weak. So why sign Eloy Jimenez, man? Why? Yeah, look, mate, I mean, to be honest, pitchers have been coming here to die for seven seasons. So I've uh, somewhat given up on that. Um, and in any case, they say that defense wins championships. And what better way to defend yourself than with a big bat? Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to Season 7 here at the Colorado Rockies, Episode 1, Opening Day, and it is our final season, our final chance to try and get the World Series into Colorado. Uh, and today we will begin, as I said, Opening Day against the Washington Nationals, the team that of course ended our season last season in that wild card game. But I thought we'd start here by having a look at or meeting the team uh, and we can see it all there. Catcher aside, and we know that Jeffers isn't our best, he's not going to be our starting catcher, but he is... Star rating wise, the best option. That'll be Vasquez. But otherwise, looking quite good. Now, Chris Clark is not going to be our best reliever, even though it says he's the best in the league. He's not even going to be in our squad long term. Um, but that all does look quite good. We can see here, I'm going to go through the team in a little bit more detail in a second, but Sergilio Jimenez, the new signing, and Severino are the three top players. Prospects. We just never quite got to see Matt Keach, did we? We signed him when he was 15, I think, from um, International Amateur Free Agency. He's going to be a wonderful, wonderful catcher. Um, we're just never going to see it. The timing is going to be almost perfect. He's going to be ready to come in as Vazquez goes out. Uh, everything was perfect, except that uh, it all took a little bit too long, unfortunately. So they, he's one of the star prospects that we never quite got to see. Um but, uh, but there we go. Let's begin by having a look at spring training and how that got on. And we can see there, it wasn't too bad. We had a, a very well, a very good winning record behind the Diamondbacks. But we've seen before, this doesn't really matter too much when we come into the regular season. But we were ahead of the Padres and the Dodgers, and you'd rather be ahead of them than behind them. But obviously, as I said, really doesn't make too much difference. Now, we didn't make any more moves. And I'll show you why in just a second here. This is the preseason predictions. That's everything there for the American League. If you want to have a bit of a longer look, just give it a quick pause. And if we go down to have a look at our league... We are predicted to be two games back of the Padres, joint with the Dodgers. So we're predict the predictions say it's going to be a very, very tight and tense season number seven here between the three, well, powerhouses, I think is not too, uh, too uh, wrong of a word, of the National League West. And if we have a look at, at uh, the hitting, Sergilio, Jimenez, and also Heron are predicted to be in the top 10. Now, Heron is a very good player. Rookie of the year, his first year. Last year, flattered to deceive a little bit. But he's predicted to have a good league. And if he can do that for us, then that will be excellent. And the pitching, Spencer Jones is in the top 10. So, um, yeah, that is, I'd say, promising without sort of trying to be too excited about things. But uh, let's hope that these numbers ring true for us. Let me know what you think we'll do. And you'll probably have a better idea of that in just a second here. This is our opening day lineup. Now, we want to have, I did have, uh, it annoys me when the game does this. I did have the spring training numbers up. I did post all this to the Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, there's a link to that in the description. But that was all posted earlier today. Now, the one thing I will flag up, Edward, uh, Edward Kalina will not be in the starting rotation. He will not be in the team. Uh, he is going to drop out. The reason he's in there right now, I should probably just show you this. Brendan Barrera has a minor injury. Um, he's on the DL. He's, he's actually fit. Uh, he's just still on the DL. Um, so he's going to be coming into the starting rotation. And the other person that's going to be coming in will have to be Robbie Ray. Uh, so he'll come in. And the person that will drop out for him, as I said before, is going to be Clark. And that's because he has option, uh, option years left, basically. But this is how everybody got on, and I'll just quickly go through uh, the team. If you, want to have, if you want to have a bit of a longer look at these numbers, then by all means, give it a quick pause. Um, the main reason here, I will just flag, Emerson Hancock had a wonderful, wonderful spring training. And he is the main reason, the fact that he's done that is the main reason why I haven't gone and tried to get a starting pitcher. But this will be, uh, this is our, our team for the season. So it's Spencer Jones um, as the number one starter. 
if I do, how, now there's a way to do this. That's this one here, isn't it? Uh, John Kodros is going to be uh, the number two starter. Number three, in theory, although it's not actually, is Jackson Kawa. Uh, it's, it, this is where we start to lose it. This is not what I wanted to... <laughs> it's not the complete order. Emerson Hancock, as I said, is uh, is going to be the number three starter. It will be Kawa four, and then Barrera, when he comes back, will be five. Our closer is going to be Saldana. Will it go down the order for me here now? Here we go. Um, we're going to have Fernandez as sort of a... Um, it's not doing the way I want it to. He's going to be sort of a stopper slash closer for, for him. Uh, the two setup guys, we have Durbin Feltman, who did a good job for us last year. And the other setup guy is going to be Ed, uh, well, one of the other new signing, Edwin Diaz. Um, really, really, really hopeful that he'll uh, he'll improve the bullpen for us. If we go down into middle relief, obviously this is where Robbie Ray will fill in along with Ty Tice. Um, you can see Ty Tice is... Uh, Maybe not been the most reliable, but he's not too bad. And uh, De Jesus as well, who has been very reliable last year out of the bullpen. They'll make up, and, and obviously, um, gone blank, Robbie Ray. And then the long relievers, Alcala, who did have a rotator cuff injury last season. He hasn't come back as good as you would expect, um, but he's still, he's not, he's still, he's not fragile. He's never let us down, so he stays in as a long reliever, along with Ryan Rollison, who was brilliant when he came up for us last year, was really, really solid. Uh, and, of course, a left arm in there as well. And for this first game of the season, Chris Clark, uh, he will also be in the bullpen. Now, we have a look at the batting side of things. Um, and we still got the spring training? We do. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the concerning thing is Andy Sergilio, who didn't set spring training alight, but that's fine. He had a bit of an injury as well, so that we were very cautious with him, and so that maybe didn't get his full practice in. Um, but if we have a look down the lineup, leadoff man will be Tamar Johnson. Excuse me. Vajayo is going to bat, th uh, bat second, play third base for us. I have ended up, and this is of course can change, but I've ended up thinking Evan White will be uh, will be the th batting third for us. That means Andy Sergilio. He'll be in right field and batting. Uh, of course, we've switched him over to right field for this season and batting cleanup. Eloy Jimenez in left field. He will be the number five hitter. Um, my thought process here, and it could be wrong, he is obviously a massive power hitter. But what I'm thinking is that Evan White, we've got high batting averages here as well in front of him. So he, he's sort of a, a second cleanup in a way, uh, is my thought. Uh, then Severino, who is almost a third cleanup. He'll bat next. Uh, he is all power, but good eye and discipline as well. Uh, he's going to start at second base. Then we come down to Jimmy Heron, predicted to be in the top 10 hitters in the league, and we've got him batting at seven, which is incredible. He'll, he'll move into center field for this season. He's played there in spring training. We've lost a little bit defensively, but we're just all bats for this season. That's all I'm worried about. And uh, Christian Vazquez will be the catcher, a wonderful defensive catcher he is. And to be honest, he's never really let us down with the bat either. Um, so no concerns about him being there. That leaves the backups as Ryan Jeffers. Uh, Bo Bichette, obviously, can play second base and shortstop. We also have Drew Bowser, who can play shortstop and third base. And then our outfielder will be Tapia uh, on the bench as well. Now, there is obviously a uh, maybe a shortage of center fielders in this team. Um my, again, my thought is that if we have an injury and we need to have a new center fielder, we can bring Alcantara back in uh, and he'll just fill in, you know, for to start games at that point. And if we have an injury in game, then we'll just get by as best we can, basically. So that is everything. Let's, uh, well, let's get this season underway, shall we? So these are the matchups. We did just go through the lineup, so there's no point going through it again. Uh, obviously, this is the team that ended our season last time up, so very, very keen to try and get the better of them. Matchups look pretty even, don't they? Uh, if we have a look at the pitching matchup, Lara is their starting pitcher day one here. Last season, he was quite good, ERA of 377, led the league in strikeouts, a war of 4.4 as well. So he's going to be quite good, you would imagine, uh, potentially a five-star guy as well, any young. Um, but yeah, let's see if he's any Spencer Jones. Okay, so welcome to opening day here at Colorado. Now, of course, the advantage that we do have with Spencer Jones in the lineup, as we saw last year, silver slugger among pitchers, batting over 300. So he is a ninth bat in the lineup. And uh, if he can pitch well like he did last year, then, you know, it, it, it really is 
adding an extra player to the lineup essentially. We start with a pop out to left field. That's a pop up there to Heron in center field. So far so good, two away. And it brings Kai Boom up, I love that name. And uh, let's see what he can do. One, two pitch, strike out for Spencer Jones and an excellent start to the season. Now let's unleash this mighty batting lineup upon the uh, upon the league. It's a first pitch swing from Tamar Johnson. He grounds at the second, and uh, that is one away. Fajo comes in now. Now his on base percentage last year, of course, was over 400 uh, as he pops into center field. If he can do that again, and Johnson can bat sort of his 330-ish, Evan White. Sergilio and Jimenez could get a lot of RBIs this coming season and it's a first hit of the season as Evan White singles into right field. Let's see what Sergilio can do now. A full count. Sergilio gets it into right field and that is going to be two on with two out. Runners at the corners and it's Eloy Jimenez. Can he make himself an instant hero amongst the Rockies fans? A 2-2 pitch. Jimenez. Oh, has he done it? Eloy Jimenez! Welcome to the Rockies! It's a three-run home run. 463 feet. And what I'm going to call it, the holy trinity of White, of Sergilio, and of Eloy Jimenez have given us a 3-0 lead in the first inning. Severino comes in now. A first pitch swing from him. And he grounds it down towards first base. That'll do it for the end of the first. But a three-run bomb from Jimenez as he introduces himself in the best possible way to the Rockies fans. And it's 3 nothing. A strikeout there for Spencer Jones to get the top of the second underway. Drew Mendoza comes in now for his first at bat of the season. He goes back with his tail between the legs. Another strikeout for Jones. And it's Mancini now comes up his first batter. 1-2 pitch. Oh, Spencer Jones, take a bow, mate. That is superb. And we are through two defensive innings without giving up so much as a hit. Jimmy Heron comes in the bat now. What can he do? A 1-0 pitch. Jimmy Heron up the middle. And he gets himself a leadoff single. Now, Christian Vazquez. Arguably the weak point of the lineup with a career batting average at the Rockies of about 270. He sends a 2-2 pitch up the middle. 2 on. I thought he was going to get thrown out at third there, but two on with no one out. And it's Spencer Jones for his first at bat of the season. An 0-1. And Spencer Jones hits it well. Has he hit it well enough? Spencer Jones! He leads us off with another home run. It's a second three-run home run. 415 feet this time. It's 6-0 to the Rockies. Oh, and we have, uh, well, we have liftoff for this batting lineup, don't we? Tamar Johnson, who's 0-1 today, comes back in. It's a 1-2 pitch. And he runs <laughs> out to second for the second time today. Brings Vajeo up, who is 0 for 1. A 1-1 one, one pitch. Vajeo. Is it going over center field's head? It's off the very, very top of the... I tell you what, the wind must be blowing out the center field because those balls just keep going. But it's a one-out double for Vajeo. And now for the Holy Trinity. And that'll do it for the pitcher. Jelzeman comes in to pitch. Evan White, who is 1 for 1. A 1-2 pitch. Evan White, is it going to drop in? Oh, no, he's robbed. It's a diving catch out there. And that is two away for Andy Sergilio with a runner at second. He's one for one, of course. It's a one-two pitch. Sergilio, that is leaving as well. That is huge. Andy Sergilio. A third home run of the game for us. It's only the second innings. That one's 441 feet. And what is the season record for most home runs by a team? We are surely going to give that a shake this season. Eloy Jimenez comes up. He's uh, one for one. Oh, he's going to get thrown out of a game. Jimenez. Ah, uh, oh, not sure if he took or received an uppercut. It's going to take a while to sort this one out. Jimenez leaves the game, and uh, there'll be another new pitcher involved. Severino comes in, a 2-1 pitch, and uh, that is going to end the innings. Well, the Holy Trinity's been broken up by a brawl. That seems uh, kind of sacrilege, doesn't it? But Spencer Jones comes back out. We're 8-0 up after two innings. And that's going to be a first hit of the game for the Nationals. A leadoff single there for uh, for Tom. Max Muncy comes in. He hits that well into right field. Has the fight upset uh, Spencer Jones? He's very much a pacifist, so maybe it has. But uh, they don't score a run. But with no one out, runners at second and third. And this is a little bit of trouble as the pitching slot comes up to pitch, up to bat even. An 0-1 pitch. 
that is uh, going to score a run. Runner goes over to third, one away. And it's Louis Garcia to lead them off again, who is 0 for 1 today. A 1-2 pitch ends in a strikeout. Is that strikeout number 6? No, only 5 for Spencer Jones. Robles now with 2 out, runner at third, a 2-1 pitch. Can we end this innings, please? We should be able to. To Severino, over to first. And we give up a run. But we still have a comfortable 8-1 lead as Jimmy Heron, who is 1 for 1, comes in the bat. Full count. And Jimmy Heron has popped that up. And that'll be 1 away. It's going to bring up Vazquez, who's 1 for 1. What can he do with the first pitch? He takes it down towards third base, and that is two away. And Spencer Jones comes in, who hit, of course, a home run last time up. It's a 1-2 pitch this time, and Spencer Jones... Oh, I thought it was going to get through, but into the shift. And for the first time this season, we haven't scored a run in the innings. Kai Boom comes back in now to face Jones. He's 0 for 1 today. It's a full count, and it's a walk. It's Real Munto, who's 0 for 1. A 1-0. Real Munto rips it down the third base past Vajeo, and with no one out, runners at first and second now. Tapia is, of course, out there in left field with uh, Jimenez cooling off in the clubhouse. It's a 2-2 pitch. That's going to be caught in right field by Sergilio. Now, can we stop the runner getting to third? We can. And that's just one away, is it? I thought that was the second out. Anyway, Mancini, who's 0 for 1, a full count. And that could be a double play. Vajeo, no, he just gets the 1. And uh, with runners at second and third, it's Tom, who is one for one today. It's an 0-1 pitch. That is up the middle, and it's going to be an RBI single. It's 8-2. And uh, I think maybe scars of the past, you just see that lead getting chipped away at, and you start to worry a touch. That's a pop-up, though. That'll end the innings. Tamar John, no, sorry, it's Severino at second, isn't it? He makes the play. And we'll go and have another bat with our run down, a lead, sorry, down to six runs. Tamar Johnson, who is 0 for 2. First pitch swing. Tamar Johnson up the middle. And that'll be a first hit of the season for our superstar shortstop. It is Vajeo now, who is 1 for 2. Doubled last time up. A 3-0 pitch. Oh, and you've popped it up, mate. If you're going to swing at 3-0, it's got to land in the fans. There is no way around that. And that is one away. Evan White comes in. He is 1 for 2. And that is popped up. I'm surprised Johnson is still standing at first. He is an absolute whippet, of course. Set a club record 69 stolen bases last year. It's Severino now. And Severino... Not Severino, Sergilio. There's too many names that sound the same. I'm trying to figure out where I know that picture from. I think we had him on the baseball journeyman. I think we had him at the baseball journeyman. I can't remember if it was at the Storks, if it was in Germany, if it was in uh, Japan. But I'm sure we had him at some point. Spencer Jones will face him now. First pitch swing. Popped up. Tappy is there. And that is one away. But yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, we can do this season. I think if everybody stays fit and stops throwing punches, um, there is no doubt that our batting lineup is... I mean, it's more beastly than I think it's been ever before, as a two-out walk is issued there by Jones. The The issue, as, as, as we know, as you have said, as I'm very well aware of, is pitching, particularly starting pitching. Um, it's, yeah, I just think it's, 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 it's a case of as uh, Tapia gets his first hit of the season from his first at bat as well, of course. Um... Yeah, it's as much as anything, it's just if the youngsters can pitch up to potential, they're all sort of three, four-star potential guys. It's just a matter of uh, of them actually performing to that level. Heron pops it up into left field. That's going to be two away, and Tapia will stay at first. And let's see what Vazquez can do with two out. It's a full count. Oh, Vazquez watches strike three, and that'll do it for the fifth. It's still eight to two, but we haven't scored since the second innings. Jones to Realmonto. It's a 3-1 pitch. That's a leadoff walk. Now, I don't think Ramonto's the quickest. No, he's unlikely to steal. Drew Mendoza comes in. He's 0 for 2. It's another full count. Jones gets himself a strikeout. Six of them now. Mancini comes in. He's 0 for 2 as well. It's a 2-1 pitch. That could be a double play. There's one. Can we turn it? No, just the one. But uh, that is now two away with a man at first. And Tom in to face the new man, Alcala. Well, with pitching slot up to bat next, that seems a bit of a strange move. But let's see what Jorge Alcala can do. Oh, that has just got past uh, Johnson into uh, into left field there. 
Now our color at the end of last season brought up 500 career strikeouts. There's another one. That ends the sixth innings. Um, and that's all been more or less at the Rockies. He's been a wonderful reliever for us. Drew Bowser comes in to pitch it now. And Drew Bowser gets us himself a first hit of the season from a first at bat. Now he's quick as well, isn't he? He could steal here. Tamar Johnson comes in. To Tommy Doyle. Well, well, well. Nice to say the name again. Tommy Doyle. Oh, it could be a double play. No, it's just one. He was brilliant, wasn't he, for a season or two? He was an all-star with us. And then he just completely went off the boil. The Hayo comes in. A 2-0 pitch. And that is popped up. That'll be caught just near the dugout. And that'll be two away. And it's going to be Evan White, who is one for three. It's a 3-0 pitch. He gets a walk. And there's two on, two out now for Andy Sergilio. He already has one home run today. First pitch swing. And that is going to end the sixth. And it's still 8-2. Who comes out to pitch for us now, I wonder? It is Ray Rollison, our lefty, to face Augustin, who is coming in to pinch hit. It's an 0-2 pitch. What can Rollison do? He can start with a strikeout. Excellent. Louis Garcia comes in now. He's 0-3. First pitch swing from him. He's popped that up. That should be catchable. It is Severino right next to the base that makes the play at second. And it brings Robles in, who is 0-2. Now, he got walked, I think, last time, didn't he? This time he strikes out, though. Rollison does an excellent, excellent job. And we stretch still with that six-run lead. Grant Dayton comes in to pitch for them. He's going to face Tapia to lead us off. Now, he is one for one so far today. Tapia. And he's popped that up. And that'll be uh, one away. In will come Severino, who is 0 for 3. Of course, there's a lot of pressure on Severino with Bo Bichette waiting in the wings. And he's uh, hit that well. That's going to be at least a double for Severino. Is he going to stop at second? He is. And it's a one-out double. It's a first hit of the season for Severino. In comes Jimmy Heron now, who is one for three. Jimmy Heron, is that going to be an infield hit? He got a good leap out of the batter's box, and he does. He gets there. Runners at the corners now with one out. For Christian Vazquez. He's one for three today. Can he extend our lead? Oh, Vazquez! It's a fourth three run home run. Well, a third three run home run, a fourth home run. It's 11 to 2. It's 446 feet. And that should be that. Oh, I love this Rockies team already. Rollison's going to come in and have a bat. A 2 2 pitch. And Rollison strikes out, as you would expect. That is two away now for Tamar Johnson. He's one for four today. Another 2-2 two -two pitch, and Tamar Johnson strikes out. That ends the seventh. But we are 11-2 up over the Nationals. Key Holder, no, Kyle Holder comes in. He's pinch hitting. It's a 1-2 pitch. He has grounded that to Tamar. No, it's Severino at second base, Damas. Either way, it's out at first. Raimundo, who's one for two with a couple of walks, comes in. A 2-1 pitch. And that might be... No, it's staying in. Oh, well, I tell you what. Ramel Tapia in left field. Take a bow. That was a stunning catch. That's two away now for Drew Mendoza, who is 0 for 3. It's an 0-2 pitch. Sitting down. And he does. Well, if we can find this sort of form consistently, this is going to be a good last season at the club. Vajayo to lead us off. He is 1 for 4 today. A first pitch swing. Vajayo rips it into left field for a leadoff single. And it's going to bring Evan White to the plate now. Uh, one for three he is. Walked last time up. First pitch swing this time up. And he's hit into a double play. Has he run, Evan? No. And, uh, well, I think White would like that one back. So two out. No one on now for Severino, who is two for four. That's not Severino. It's Sergilio. What is wrong with me today? Anyway, he strikes out as well. And that will hopefully be the last, or better be the last time we bat. Rollison to try and close it out now. He's going to face Mancini, who's 0 for three. It's a 2-2 pitch, and that is one away. Tom comes in now. He is 3-for-3. Three three. What an opening day he's had. A 2-1 pitch, and Tappy is there. That's a simple catch for him after his last effort. They're down to their final out. It's Maxwell Muncy. He's 1-for-3. Can Rollison finish this off in style? Not so much, but Heron's there, and that is a stunning opening day performance from our Colorado Rockies. So there we go. That's how you start a season. The Dodgers have lost. The Padres have won as well. Um, just a stunning, stunning performance. Jimenez has had one one swing of the bat and he's second in the eyes. Um, now, if you're wondering, he did get suspended four games, both he and the pitcher. So that's obviously a shame. 
Um, but, you know, who cares? Who cares? It's fine. He hit a home run. We're happy. And, uh, yeah, that was wonderful. Now, because this is the last season and because Elder Park Baseball 22 is coming, um, what I think we're going to do is just try and skip ahead through this season maybe a little bit more than we have done in previous years. So I think what we might do is let's come back end of April. Um, end of April for an update. So we'll come back for the game against the Houston Astros. Uh, bin lids will be hidden. They'll all be taped down. Don't worry about that. So we'll come back for that one. Then I think what we might do is come back sort of end of May for, say, something around about the White Sox. Okay, so we've had a change of plan because I do want to try and, if we're going to get to the playoffs, get there as quick as possible. Um, so we might come back May, we might come back mid-May for the Phillies. Um, then what we'll do, we don't have to worry about the draft because we're not going to be here. For, so the draft really doesn't matter. So what we can do then is come back um, maybe for this game against the Dodgers. I can give you an update coming into the All-Star game. Well, one of these Dodgers games anyway. Then we can come back post-All-Star game. So we'll have sort of two episodes more before we get to the all-star break um and then just try and make sure that we're getting to the playoffs with uh as you know as little fuss as possible um but yeah let me know how you think we're going to get on how many home runs you think we can hit this year um yeah it was very very promising start to the season wasn't it guys so i'll be back next time if you've enjoyed that thumbs up subscribe if you're new we'll be back next time take on the phillies uh, and until then take care